So in this video, I want to show how you get bigger maps. I uh, made some videos a while back and uh, I saw some comments were left. Uh, someone asking for tickets, how you get more tickets. So you get a longer play and how to get bigger maps. Well, I can help with both those things. First, I'll show how to get bigger maps. In the next video, I'll show how to get more tickets in your game. So you have a longer game. So I saw this on uh, Steam. 2020 so I felt like making this video all right let's take a look at this how, how do you get bigger maps and better feel too so let's look at the problem right all right so if we log in in the offline account I've got a single player see these maps are meant for 16 players that's not what we want. There are bigger maps available, which would usually be for multiplayer or for when the servers of Ubisoft were up, but they're offline now, so you can't get those anymore. Or can you? We're gonna go here to this website, httpsmoddb.com. I'll put this URL in the description of this video. You wanna download this file by clicking on it automatically start to download if not click it as it says already downloaded these files uh, file already have it if this link for some reason doesn't work um, I have another website I found with the exact same file up to the, the byte and uh, it will do the exact same it's the exact same file I checked it so both these URLs will work what do you do when you have this, uh, it will download a .rar, which I'll show you. So when you go to your downloads folder, you will find uh, the file. I got two because I downloaded from both URLs to check if they're the right ones. Um, if you download it from the second website, you get just the file. If you download it from the first website, you get a RAR. You need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the file. Extract it, open it, and then you could run it. But if you're doing this by yourself and you're taking this from me, from a YouTube channel or from another website, always check the file first. Check it with more bytes if you have that. It's free. Oh, I got the premium version. All right. It says nothing. All right, cool. We'll go check with another website. It's called Virus Total. Do you have any any executable, any program that you can run on your computer? You put it in there. They'll compare it with a database, which is always up to date with all the other viruses, and they'll see if it's there. And if this virus has been around for a month or so, it will show up. You know, nothing shows up. All right, so I know that I'm not spreading something bad. That's good. <laughs> now, are we sure that this is no virus? And we're absolutely sure, we run it. Well, I did the same process with the other file, of course. You get this. Someone made this, very nice. Little installation. Now here it will say uh, where it's gonna install. Oh, this is the Battlefield 2 mods folder. It will install in the mods folder. I can't click this, even though it says you could. But it doesn't matter. Oh, I think that it automatically uh, picks out the Steam folder and goes into the right folder, so you won't have to worry about that. If it doesn't work, if you got your Battlefield 2 installed in another drive, let me know and I'll find a fix. Um, just default steps. It might install a shortcut, doesn't matter. Install it. When it's finished, you'll see these two little icons here. These are shortcuts, you don't need those. You could, but you can just start the game with Steam. Now you finish the installation, right? All right, now it's installed. Don't need any of these anymore. These can go, boom. We go to um, Battlefield 2. Alright, 
We log in again. When you press on single player, you'll see that you do not have the bigger map yet. But you have to go to community first, right next to it. Then to custom games, second tab down there. And battlefield to all 64. Uh, this is what you want to activate. Also as a website, I went to this website. You can do it real quick, show you. Doesn't go anywhere. I don't know. It's uh, I checked this file and it was uploaded in 2014. So I guess it's offline. All right. So when you have it selected, you press activate. It will say that it has to restart. All right, we go in again. This time we click on single player, you have all the big maps. So this would be a regular sized one, we go to the max. Uh, you see that's that's quite a difference. Whole other game opens up. <laughs> so usually don't see these maps. I really like them. Uh, just show them real quick. So you see, they already added some more bots. You already have a bit more bots as you usually would, which is nice, but they did a little bit more. Well, I'll play a little bit and I'm gonna show you one more trick. So it's like a whole new map almost. It is kind of, but it's vanilla. I think it's really cool. Uh, I like this map specifically. Uh, damn map. Let's go say hi to the enemy. See how they're doing. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what else this mod adds. So you go to your Steam and a better feel, right? Here or over here. You go to local files and to the mods. Then you'll see the mods folder with the AI folder, which you could adjust the bots with, but they did something extra. They added this little file. Now I checked it out, which you can too, of course. And uh, it's very basic. It's a .bat file and it does what it's supposed to do. It changes the amount of bots and the uh, difficulty of them. And all the commands here laid out were simple to understand. So you can check it yourself if you would want that. And if we run it, see this, I won't be afraid. This is a CMD prompt. It's just to run, uh, it's just to edit the files inside the game. And what does it say? It says how many bots you want in there. Let's say 128, right? All right, that's registered. It says what difficulty level between 0 0.1 and one. I'll go with 0 0.5, which would be average, right? right in the center. All right, process complete. Great. Now we'll start the game again. You can see now, we have uh, a lot of bots, 64 plus 65, uh, 127, but that would be the max then, just below 128. You can also see it in the squads, they're full. So we're just gonna fly over to enemy base real quick. 
and get all the attention towards their own base so they cannot focus on the other outposts. Oh, this is the fun part. We have to get the right one. It's uh, Battlefield 2 with big maps. I hope you enjoy that, and you have a nice day.